<laughs> Hello, I'm Sarah. And I'm Eva. And you are with us here on Rage That's today. Right. And today's episode, we're inviting two special guests to come into our studio today. Mm -hmm. um, the first one is a bar set a student bartender who's just 18 years old and is almost like a pro when it comes to making a cocktail. Her name is Sarah. So yes, and it's Sarah. not me. <laughs> not me, yes. but another Sarah on okay. today. And she is a female bartender. A, f a girl bartender, which is quite mm -hmm. unusual, but yes. she's really good at what she does. Mm -hmm. um, but first of all, take a look at the competition which happened last week at Clark Key. The best are invited to compete in the Asia Pacific Bartender of the Year cocktail competition. These cocktail creators come from all over Asia and as far as Europe and America. But for those of you at home or at work, here's your front row ticket to catch them live in action. But before the competition started, these young guys were backstage practicing their killer stuff for the bar flare attending category. Well, we have two of the bartender girls that's going to go out first for the first round of student category. How do you guys feel? Uh, fine. Considering it's starting, it's very daunting. <laughs> yeah. First up was the student category that four boys and only two girl bartenders battled it out. Jury is 17. She's not even like legal or allowed to drink yet, and she's already a pretty good bartender. So, like, how do you get into all of this? Uh, it's actually trained by my lecturers and also outside bartender. What are people's reactions when they see you do bartending? They were shocked because very less bar female bartenders in Singapore, so they will think that it's more to guys. But to me, I will prove to the guys that women can. <laughs> Like traveling around different countries, taking part in competitions, and what are some of the competitions that you know of? That you, you know, is there any bartender that you look up to? All right. uh, none at the moment, no. But it's really cool to meet different people. I think it's a good way um, to, especially in our line of hospitality. I'm sure you don't come across a lot of other girl bartenders. No, not really. Actually, it's quite intimidating because usually we're the only girls. Do any of the guys say, "Oh, you know, these girls they can't do it as, as good as we can"? All the time. All the time. I think I did quite a strong performance, so hopefully for the best. <laughs> Following the student category was the mocktail and classic cocktail category. Martini glass and garnish with Goda. Contessa number four! But what everyone was really waiting for was the bar flare tending challenge. These guys showed us that there is so much more to preparing a drink. Yeah. We can surely use here at the arena. So, Afat, how old are you? I'm uh, 23. You're the youngest among the crowd of contestants there. Yeah. How long have you been doing this for? Uh, five years. Okay, tell me, why do you enjoy doing this? Because I like to interact with all the guests, like meet new people, everything. And it's fun to meet difficult people and all types of traits. Uh, you know. I want to know, what does it take to get up on that stage? Uh, we prejudice and uh, it's totally different world. Yep. What's your name? My name is Adrian. Yeah, how Adrian. Are you? I'm 27 this year. Right. So how long have you been doing bartending and flare flaring uh, for? I've been doing bartending for around eight years. Okay, I'm flaring for around um, three years, four years. I mean, you had some pretty hot moves out there. Is there times when you get really nervous and you encounter like major accidents, like you hit someone by accident of your Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see just now up there, um, I did broke broke a bottle. Okay. Well, accidents do happen. I break, I've broken like maybe hundreds of bottles. Yeah. Hundred bottles, glasses at work, you know, during work. But unfortunately for the girls, so far no girl has taken part in the bar flare tending stage in this competition. What 
that stage? Okay, um, yes, this is my first, very first uh, competitive competition, so it will be very, very nervous for me. For today's event, uh, how do you prepare for it? Today's event, uh, I was, well, I was actually practicing for the last two months, um, six hours every day almost. It's a really and, uh, intense practice that you have really to do. Practice, practicing non-stop at one area, we just play, uh, practice and do the moves, uh, six hours straight non-stop. Well, I tried my own hand at bar 10 flaring, with safety bottles of course. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right, it's better than yours, I could teach you, but I have to charge. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right, it's better than yours, I could teach you, but I have to charge. You want it, the thing that needs to be, but the guys go crazy. Damn, fast third up, start off. <laughs> Okay, so you see what the guys can do and they're pretty funky moves. But so far there hasn't been a lot of girls entering the bar 10 flaring scene. Perhaps in the near future, more girls will be game enough to bring what they've got to the bar 10 flaring stage competitions. I have to say, good try, Eva. It was quite fun actually, it really yeah. was. Okay, if you guys want to know who won or you want to see the rest of the competition, Stay tuned at 5 o'clock because there's a one-hour front seat special. So you get to see all the people who are there That's and right. all the competitors. And the winners and everything. Including yep. the beautiful lady who's sitting right next yes. to us now. Hello, Sarah. Sarah is from Shatek Institutes. Correct. Right. And you also took part in the competition for the student category. Yes, correct. Okay, so tell us, like, how do you get into this? Um, basically, bartending was sort of uh, just a thing just to do for fun. But because of the competition that we're actually preparing for, uh, which Shatek Institute sent us, which is actually the World Skills Competition. Um, so, bartending is actually one of the 24 tasks that we have to do. So As in, when you are studying in Shatek? Or? Um, Shatek Institute actually recommended us because we're doing our FMB training. So, yeah. we also uh, have classes and like bar showmanship. You mentioned to me that you were specially selected to take Correct. part in this competition. Yes. So, she's wow. one of the good pro bartenders. Yeah. And how old are you right now? Um, 18. So you're just, just legal. Just legal. <laughs> okay, prior to that, when you were like learning how to make cocktails and everything, did you have to try? Um, Wait, let me just check on. your mic for you though. But um, did you have to try out all your cocktails and everything? Yeah, yeah. We actually, because um, we first tried out in school. So we were like just trying. Then we, for the competition, we actually had to make our own drink. Mm -hmm. So So we came up with this thing where we looked through books and stuff and we saw the drinks that we actually liked and then we tried to like modify them and things like that. Okay. But the experience was really fun and yeah. Okay. Now what's your favourite drink so far? Uh, mojito. What are you going to prepare for us later? Um, this is actually my own drink but mm -hmm. I got it from Mojito. Your Something own drink? Like yeah, this now what's your own creation? It. Uh, it's it's actually a comic. It's actually from a comic. Do you like the comic? It's pretty old. It's a lot older it's really than old, you. Right? So like, how do you even know about the Green Lantern to begin with? Because I was trying to come up with a name because my drink's green. So mm -hmm. yeah, we were talking okay. about comics and cartoons and... The it's green probably lantern. more your dad's era, right? The Green Lantern. Yeah, kind of. So like, he was the one who gave you the name or something? Like, no, your parents helped you out? Or? Like, really old school, yeah. So who helps out uh, with the tastes and everything for all the cocktails that you come up with? Mostly some of the Shatek trainers from yeah, from school, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they've been really helpful in the training and everything. So it's pretty intense, but it's fun. Have for your sure. friends tried? Kind of. Kind of. I, don't, I don't know whether I'm allowed to say this or not. <laughs> okay, have you ever created a drink that has knocked them out? Um, this is actually literally, first <laughs> literally like. <laughs> No. This is actually, first? Yeah, this is the first drink I actually came up with by myself. So. Wow, okay. Is this the one that uh, we saw you do for the yes, finals? Yeah. Okay. It was a very cool drink, by the way. Served in those uh, little uh, champagne foods. Yeah, those are actually the drink. tasting portions, the uh, sherry glasses. Okay, so we know that there's a lot more to making a drink than just pouring some liquids together. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a live demo right now of how to make the Try. perfect cocktail? <laughs> we will be very not okay. as good as professional, but... Okay, you shall... Uh, Problem. Let's take a look. Okay, so she's going to prepare for us the Green Lantern. Okay. Right? We're very excited to <coughs> taste this. Now, Sarah, quick question. Uh, what goes into the Green Lantern? Okay, um, I'm using vodka as my base. Okay. Uh, this is actually peppermint syrup. It's vodka limon. Mm. Uh, I have, I'm going to top it up with mm. some soda water. This is pineapple juice and this is sugar syrup. Sugar syrup. How do you make your sugar syrup? Do you just buy it or no, do you actually, actually like, one to one. So like you use one half and half? 
something like that. Yeah. Like a half and half kind of a thing. Kind of, yeah. Okay. Okay, so first, uh, I'm going to show the glass. Uh, do you ever like prepare your uh, glasses first? Like I see you have a glass there. How do you select what glass you want to present it in? Actually, it's basically mostly up to you. But mm -hmm. usually drinks like martini is martini glass, things like that. But uh, okay, I'm choosing, this is actually a champagne too. Mm -hmm. So this is chilling the glass. We usually do this uh, because we don't put ice in our drink. As in, when we shake it, there's ice. But when we pour it in, there's no ice, it's glam, right? Yeah. You know, all the... Yeah, okay. Okay, so basically, uh, I'm going to start up something called muddling. Uh, uh, what's muddling? Um, it's um, actually so-called something like meshing. Okay. Yeah, so this Interesting. is lime and mint I actually peel off the mm -hmm. skin from the lime so that... You really have a mic? Yeah. Just oh, the... Uh, yeah, the, the skin kind of... You see a bitter taste, right? Correct. Do you have any specific type of lime? Because there's so many different kinds of lime you can buy um, in the supermarket. The one I'm using is the Thai, Thai lime or something. Yeah. Is it the big one? Yeah, or the... the one that looks like a lemon. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to muddle it a bit. And you can buy those uh, instruments that you're using anywhere, right? Um, ours is from Siahua because Siahua actually uh, sponsors Shatek Institute. Awesome! <laughs> can we pretend to be Shatek students as well? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then after you do the muddling, now what you did is mash in the mint leaves with the lime. Yes, correct. Okay, okay. and then? So next I'm adding in the jigger, by the way. Okay. Uh, this is so how many lethal jigs do you put in? Um, I'm only putting in 30 of vodka, so... Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to use about 10 ml of sugar syrup. So that's about half a jig, right? Uh, half oh. is actually 15. So about... A third. A third. Okay, this is the pineapple oh, one juice. Teaspoonful. One teaspoon. One <laughs> teaspoon. Only bar spoon. And that's pineapple juice. Yes, correct. Do you get? Uh, do you prefer using like fresh pineapple juice, or you know, do you just use pineapple juice out of a can? We actually use it out of the bottle, but if you could get it fresh, then does it change the taste? I actually haven't tried it with fresh. Ah. We should try it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> this is the peppermint syrup, creme de menthe. That will give it its nice green color. Yep. Right. I'm using about 15 ml. It gives it a little minty taste as well. Yeah, it's actually quite strong. The first time around, I put in a bit too much. The whole thing was like... Oh, <laughs> right. It can be quite... <laughs> kind of, kind of. Heavy. Okay, this is uh, vodka. I'm using Smirnoff Black. Now, why uh, black instead of, uh, you know, the blue or the red? Uh, we actually tried it with all, but we found that the black is the best taste. I don't know why, but... <laughs> We actually tried, we, I think in a day we tried, I tried this drink like about 10 times. So after Before a while... you came up with <laughs> this, like, and this was the perfect one for you. Okay, I'm going to throw away the ice that we used to chill the glass. I'm supposed to, there's no bucket, so improvise. Okay. Now, when, when did you start training uh, bartending? Um, we trained for the qualifying rounds for the world skills. We started in uh, April, actually. But um, and the world skills is going to be held that, in. Yeah, the bar we started training like I think a month ago. A month. Yeah. Okay, so it's pretty short. You've actually only been bartending for a short while. Kind of, yeah. Kind of. So you're fast learner. And the world championships is where? Sorry, the world skill uh, championships is actually in uh, October. Oh, and where would that be held? Um, it's in ITE actually. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you just gave that a little shake. Okay. Now, I can never do that without spilling all the drink on the floor. So, what's the technique? Um, well, I think you have to pour everything when you open it, right? Yeah. You hit it in. And hit it in. And then when you want to open it, right, there's actually a technique to where the spot that you're going to hit it. Okay. So, you don't hit it here, otherwise it won't open. You don't hit it here either. Just the spot that touches the glass and the metal. Ah, uh, so there's a skill involved in yeah. it. No wonder... Apparently, gonna I've been up. doing it wrong all along. <laughs> okay, top it up with some soda water. Is there like you just agar? That one. Something like Aggeration. Agar. <laughs> really good stir. What stir was that? It's actually a bar spoon. Wow, that looks nice. Okay. Awesome. It looks very refreshing. So it's very good for a uh, very hot kind of a day. Like Singapore. Yeah, <laughs> hot weather.
Where gonna... would you want to see your drinks? Where? Yeah. Like, what's your dream place of having your, your drink style? In? Maybe like, in a bar somewhere. Like any bars in particular? Yeah. Or would you want it to be, you know... Something like, like the, by the beach. I think by the beach would be really cool. Would you want it to become like the new Singapore sling where everybody yeah, has, I don't think anything know? can beat the Singapore sling though. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's the but Green Lantern. Wow! Okay. okay. Very nice. Now, Sam? do you always get garnish it with uh, lemon? Uh, no. Previously, I tried doing lime spirals and... Pineapple and quite a lot actually, but I think this is um, okay. elegant, simple, something like that. When no umbrella. Were, when you were preparing, <laughs> when you were preparing the drink, I noticed how today you were so steady, you know. But at the competition, I saw a lot of people. They were literally like shaking as they were pouring their drink, you know. It's, it's actually so not as easy as it looks. Okay. It's like really hard, and even the best of people when they go on stage, right? Especially yeah. when they're pouring the jigger, because it's like yeah. everyone's looking, and when you do this, it's like. Your hands are like <laughs> shaking and la, 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 la. yeah. Yeah, but how was the whole experience? I mean, it's you've only been bartending for about a month, and then you know you were chosen out of so many people to represent you know your school even, mm -hmm. and yet you know here you are now, wow, pro. <laughs> <laughs> I I think it takes um, a lot of commitment basically, but other than that, if you like it, it's like pretty much fun because every time we go and we just like try a few drinks then. Yeah, actually try the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> what next then? Bar flaring? Um, I don't know. I've thought of trying, but, but maybe if I have a mentor. Uh, you see, a lot of guys, guys out there, <laughs> she's hinting, right, Eva? A lot, of, a lot of girls have not actually entered this bar flaring thing. Exactly, you were mentioning even in e your video, right? Exactly, because I think it's the dangerous part of the element of it. No, we don't like getting cut by glass, you know? like. <laughs> no, I think for girls as well, whenever like we break a bottle, it's like, wow. It's the cuts and everything. No, I, I'm not scared of the cuts. I'm just like, wow. Cynthia, $100 bottle. Like, drop it, ah! Yeah. yeah. Okay, you know what, Sarah? <laughs> it's time for us to go for a break. Yes. But guys, Shop stay break. tuned, because after this, we have a very special guest. Yes, and I'm going to drink on the job. <laughs> We're going to try this green lantern right now. See you in a bit.